fellow students let's start with a very interesting chapter of physics waves let's begin with introduction to waves now what are waves basically if i ask you this question some will say waves are nothing but the uh, waves which are pattern which we have studied in the earlier classes something like this right like crest and trough these are waves some say the waves which are formed in water that is the sea waves some might have recollected the waves which we have studied in the lower standards the sound waves the compression refraction waves which are traveling in the forward direction uh, of course these are some different formation of waves but then like on a holistic general level how will you define a wave what is exactly a wave let's understand that in a simple way suppose if i consider still water okay water which is completely still and i dip my finger into it like this in this direction or in this position okay so suppose if i tap my finger and create a depression over here what happens let's analyze this now when i tap my finger over here at this point what happens is i am pushing the water particles in the downward direction okay as these water particles start moving or are pushed in the downward direction and i release my finger what happens is this water particle starts actually has a deformation in the shape now to oppose the change in the deformation it tries to come back to its solid form so actually what is happening is my finger is imparting some energy with this energy there is a change in the shape but that change in shape is temporary so the particle regains its original form and thereby gives the energy to the neighboring medium and the neighboring medium starts vibrating up and down and in this pattern what we gave get is some concentric circles which are traveling radially outward something like this right so these are nothing but like radial waves which are traveling in the outward direction so basically these circles which are waves concentric waves which are traveling in the forward direction are also called as ripples so these are ripples which are formed in the forward direction now these ripples are nothing but the mechanical waves which are disturbance that travel in the medium now here please understand what is happening over here is when the water particle is getting disturbed and oscillating the particle is not moving in the forward direction the particle will just oscillate about some position over there only and then transfer the energy to the next particle the next particle will also oscillate or vibrate about its mean position over there only and then while it is oscillating it transfers this energy to the next particle so what happens over here is the particles are not traveling there is actually energy which is traveling in the forward direction and this propagation of energy without the propagation of the particle is nothing but called as a wave now here since there is a medium involved and the material medium is oscillating as it is transferring this energy to the next particle then this kind of a wave is called as a mechanical wave so waves can be actually broadly classified into two types one is the mechanical waves which actually require a material medium for their propagation just like how you saw that on the surface of that still water when i dip my finger there is a disturbance created and the particles of water oscillate up and down as the water particles are oscillating there is a concentric waves or ripples which are formed which are propagating the energy in the forward direction now before we, uh, without that water particles it is not possible for this wave to propagate another example for mechanical wave is sound wave sound wave also requires some kind of a material medium for example you might have studied in the lower classes that sound waves cannot travel through space for the obvious reason sound requires a medium which is fluid like gases and liquids sound can travel through gases and liquids so if i go out of the atmosphere there is no material medium and before if i move out there is no material medium therefore the wave cannot travel through that part so sound waves cannot travel through vacuum for the obvious reason there is no material medium over here and these are the examples for mechanical waves now there are some more waves which are 
there which propagate energy and which do not require any material medium these kind of waves are called as non mechanical waves and particularly these are nothing but electromagnetic waves the example of electromagnetic waves is like these waves require an imaginary field around them the electrical field and magnetic field and as they propagate the energy the imaginary electrical and magnetic field starts vibrating okay there is no actual material medium required the common example of electromagnetic waves are light waves x rays uv rays and so on in this what happens is the electrical field and magnetic field vibrate mutually perpendicular to each other while the disturbance travels in the forward direction now this non mechanical waves we'll be studying in the further chapters of optics and modern physics in this part of the chapter waves we will be focusing on mechanical waves only so our center for discussion is going to be mechanical waves which always require a material medium to travel in the forward direction now just to analyze before i go ahead about mechanical waves mechanical waves of course yes they require a material medium when they are traveling in the forward direction but what happens exactly if i take that example in the previous case which we had taken still water and i dip my finger into it so when my finger is dipped it is actually pushing the water over here down so i am creating a disturbance as i am applying some kind of an energy or some work on this particles of water and pushing them down this my work done gets converted into some energy and gets stored in the water particle and with this restoring energy the water particle comes back to its original form once i release my finger so basically this medium is elastic okay and because of that elasticity it uh, restores its original form and it gives away that energy to the neighboring particle and comes back to the original form over here so what happens over here is when this wave is traveling in the forward direction like this okay the particle over here are just moving up and down okay the particle is not moving in the forward direction energy is moving in the forward direction this particle suppose when it is moving down okay when it is down it tries to oppose this change in its position and come back to the original form as it is coming back to the original form it transfers this energy to the next particle and that starts oscillating then it gives to the next particle that starts oscillating so here what is happening is actually there is only energy which is getting propagated and not the particle so when i were say mechanical wave remember it's a disturbance in which only energy is getting propagated so wave is a propagation of energy in the medium remember it is not the propagation of particles of the medium it is propagation of energy in the medium also we can say instead of energy sometimes it is said as momentum so waves are nothing but propagation of energy or momentum through a given medium in this case please note this okay when these ripples are formed the disturbance travel radially outwards like this they travel radially outwards but then in this case the the water particles which is the medium over here they just oscillate about their mean position or the equilibrium position the net displacement of this medium particles is always zero means suppose if this wave travels in the forward direction this particle will when the once the wave is traveling forward and it is gone the particle will come back to its original form so the net displacement of the particle with respect to its initial state will be zero so particles do not travel okay their net displacement is zero the medium particles net displacement is zero but the wave displacement yes there is a wave displacement in the forward direction now waves basically when they are traveling in the forward direction you know they require medium mechanical waves require medium and there are certain characteristics of the medium you have to remember the medium particles only oscillate about the equilibrium position and the net displacement is always zero another very important aspect you have to remember about the medium during mechanical waves the medium possesses elasticity and inertia because if it is not elastic then what will the medium do it will use the energy for its permanent shape change or deformation we don't want the medium to absorb the energy we just want it to take the energy and transfer it to the next particle to the next particle without any loss 
so if you don't want any loss of energy while it propagates the medium has to be elastic so these are the two very important conditions for a medium for propagating mechanical waves and based on the oscillation of the medium particles we divide the mechanical waves into two types so there are two kinds of mechanical waves one is transverse wave other is longitudinal wave in transverse wave the medium of the particle oscillate perpendicular to the direction of propagation like this suppose if the wave is traveling in this direction and this is a particle over here the particle will vibrate up and down so what is the orientation over here the particle is vibrating perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation same way in longitudinal wave here the particles of the medium vibrate parallel okay they vibrate parallel or in the same direction of the propagation of wave so as the wave is propagating horizontally this way you can see the particle over here is vibrating to and fro this way okay so the vibration of the particle is also horizontal okay and in this case the wave is also moving horizontally so i can say they are parallel to each other so this is the definition for longitudinal wave consider an example okay transverse wave you can take an example as a rope a rope tied at one end fixed at one end and the other end is in my hand now suppose if i just give it a jerk or a bump what happens is there is a vibration which is created in this manner in this rope so what happens is this particle of the rope goes up this particle of the rope goes down this goes up this goes down and this way there is a wave which is traveling in this direction if i see this particle over here it is now at this position as the wave goes forward it will come the particle will come down to the mean position and then go back to the bottom position so how is the vibration of the particle it is perpendicular to the direction of propagation so this is a transverse wave same way if i consider a longitudinal wave an example of longitudinal wave will be a spring in which i am creating a compression by pushing it this way as i push it these particles over here they push or they create a kind of force in this direction also the particles of the neighboring over here they push the particles on this side or in in the direction of the right hand side so what we can see is over here there is a compression which is formed then there is a rarefaction which is formed over here so what is the orientation of the particles vibration the particles are vibrating to and fro like this horizontally and what is the direction of the wave the wave is also moving horizontally towards the right so in this case the particles are vibrating parallel to the direction of the propagation of the wave just to uh, correlate more about transverse and longitudinal wave a quick distinguish between them transverse wave you know the particles vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation and longitudinal wave the particles vibrate parallel to the direction of propagation in transverse wave you know there are crest and trough which are formed and in case of longitudinal waves there are compressions and rarefactions which are formed the distance between two crest this distance between two crest or distance between two troughs okay troughs this is a trough over here till here so the distance between two crest or trough is called as a wavelength which is represented as lambda same way the distance between two compressions and or two rarefactions okay is nothing but called as the wavelength of longitudinal wave further when you talk about transverse wave transverse wave over here when they travel through a medium there is no change in the density and the pressure but when we consider longitudinal wave as the name suggest you know there is a compression and then there is a relaxation or a rarefaction so density is increasing decreasing pressure is increasing decreasing so the pressure and density varies through the medium when a longitudinal wave travels now as you know these are mechanical waves and they are transferring energy and for them they require the medium should be elastic for a transverse wave the medium should have the elasticity of shape that is it should regain its original shape after the wave has gone while in case of longitudinal wave the elasticity over here is of volume so it should have volume elasticity that is bulk modulus now elasticity of shape is there in solids only or in this case you can say the surface of a liquid which is flat or has a definite shape so transverse wave can travel through solids they can travel to surface of a liquid but they cannot travel through a gaseous medium or inside a liquid 
okay so remember this over here transverse wave they can be transmitted through solids and surfaces of fluids but when you consider longitudinal waves longitudinal waves since they require volume elasticity and volume elasticity is present in all the three states of elastic materials like solids liquids and gases these waves can transmit through all the three mediums